Incoming transmission. Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie back with a very special Star Trek Day, Star Trek The Official Starships Collection issue review. And for the special day to celebrate the birthday of Star Trek, September 8th, um, we have a special issue for a special day. The gold USS Enterprise, NCC 1701, the original, the Matt Jeffries beauty, Captain Kirk's vessel chariot to the stars, immortalized in gold. Yes, the gloves are back because we have to handle this beauty with care. And um, we'll have a little bit of a chit chat about Star Trek and uh, I couldn't let the day go by. And I've been keeping this for this very day. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. Do check out the previous uh, gold issue review that we've done on the video channel as well, it was the Enterprise D. And um, we got a glimpse of that at DST last year. Oh my gosh. And I'm hitting the camera with excitement. I do apologize. Um, so a big shout out to Hero Collector sending this over. It gives me the opportunity to do a review for you fine folks at home. And uh, that's all made possible for you because of you uh, and your support by checking out these silly little videos. You're absolutely legend. And um, massive shout out to the Patreon supporters um, supporting the channel on a monthly basis as well it gives me the opportunity to continually invest and develop the channel as well to maintain uh, a certain level of expected uh, shenanigans for you all as well. You're all rock stars in your own way. Um, do check out all the doobly doos down below how you can reach out to me and uh, check out the merch store as well which definitely helps the channel and there's some cool Star Trek and sci-fi swag over there. So we're going to look at the magazine in a little bit. We're going to check out the ship first and uh, swing back around then for our final thoughts. So stay tuned for that. So here we go. Special. Let's have a look at the box. So gold model of the USS Enterprise. All the same pretty much throughout. Very nice. Like could you, could you do a review on another ship on a day like today? Let me know in the comments below, what does Star Trek mean to you? That seems to be the theme for the day. Um, oh my, oh my, look at this, oh my God. Um, we have our, oh, this is actually gold plated. And uh, you can see the heat from my fingers already. Oh, it looks amazing in gold, oh my God. It actually looks amazing in gold. We're going to check out this in a little bit of detail in a minute. Not in a little bit of detail, in a lot of detail. We have our traditional, oops, it is it. Slippery gloves, oh my gosh. Uh, we have our traditional mount. And if my uh, gloves allow, I'll put this over here to one side. Let's do a little bit of ASMR. Was that pleasant? <laughs> we have our gold base plate sticker as well. Gold model of the USS Enterprise NCC 1701. So we have 4267A slash A. So centrally mounted. We'll see you in a minute. So here she is in her gold glory. Die cast. Plastic components there. It's cold to the touch, even though I'm using the gloves. But there is such a sheen on it. It's absolutely exquisite in its beauty. You can see you have the deflector, which looks very nice, actually very accurate in there. And you can see your uh, sculpt, you have your windows, and you have some hull sculpting on that as well. Same on the ventral section of the saucer. That very clean top sauce. Oh, I'm in, I'm, I'm on the Enterprise, hello. <laughs> it's that shiny. I'm losing my marbles by the looks of this video. Um, all the anatomy is there. It's, it's based on 
the uh, already in the collection Enterprise. Uh, just lovingly gold plated for you fine folks at home. And this video coincides with an offer on the Hero Collector website as well. Um, three for two on Star Trek items. Get your cheapest item uh, free. Uh, which is awesome so do check out the store there the normal link is down below in the description box um here you have the shuttle bay again a little bit of sculpt on that but she's absolutely lovely i really i, I really um i did really like the enterprise d gold but this is by far um my favorite of the two um hands down it's just, I think the simple design, I say simple, I mean that in the highest regard. Matt Jeffrey's design of the Enterprise is bar none, one of the most iconic designs in sci-fi history. Um, but I think the, the apparently simple lines and, you know, angles and flows and just the, the curves across the hull uh, lend itself very, very nicely being gold plated she is a beauty i can't i can't can you see in the video <laughs> i'm i know i'm talking and i'm looking at my hands but i'm just constantly rubbing the ship um again all the details are there along the nacelles that you'd want you'd it's it's really just the paint application really uh the gold plated nature of it versus the the kind of uh duck egg kind of gray blue hull with the decals and the window panes and stuff like that as well but she's nice let's check her out in the stand and uh, we go from there enterprise on its stand um again it's what i would expect from the ship uh absolutely fabulous the way that they've lifted up the mount just to show the detail and the kind of uh, points of interest off uh, the way the drive section meets onto the neck and the saucer and stuff like that as well but um in the lighting that i have here it's really glinting and glimmering for me absolute beauty so we're going to jump over have a look at the magazine and then we'll come back and wrap up with our final thoughts so here we have the magazine again adorned in the gold uh, aesthetic with the ship this is going to be hard with these freaking gloves <laughs> Um, do you know I never got the magazine with the Enterprise D because I got it early to kind of tease and show you folks but um, this time we got the, the version here so I have some close-up shots of the model itself standard layout here NCC 1701 Constitution class launch 2245 then 289 meters Dex 23 crew of 203 uh, up to 234 in uh, 2264 phasers photon torpedoes and captain by April, Pike, Kirk, and um, prior to 2269. Uh, here we have mountain instructions, and uh, yeah, all the anatomy is there for this type of magazine. So, the design history of the Enterprise. Since Star Trek The Motion Picture, the ship has regularly included a display showing the different vessels named Enterprise. By the time we reached first contact, the Enterprise's history was shown with a series of gold-plated models. In the real world, each version of the Enterprise wasn't designed in order, but were created and updated as the story called for them. So, again, you're kind of going into the, the whole lore of uh, the Enterprise, how we've seen it, almost kind of in some aspects in reverse going from the original series to TNG and beyond and then back to the NX series and then the movies and then Discovery and so on and so forth as well here we have some of Matt Jeffrey's original uh, design works again spherical um, habitation area that we saw in some of the medical ships as well because again you have the the equal uh, pressure uh, balanced across the hull in a spherical design but again you have the iconic uh, saucer section and then you have like the ring uh, engines as well which again the Vulcan race adopted too but there's a lot of logic behind that type of uh, engine array as well and then you have a kind of morphing over to a more familiar structure and then you have Ken Adams and Ralph McQuarrie uh, worked on a radical redesign of the Enterprise so again we're kind of going into 
after TOS. And then again, you have a little bit of a touch up or redesign. And Hero Collector have been amazing at giving us some of these uh, ships. Again, we have the Phase 2 Enterprise, we have uh, the Defined variants and um, Pikes variant as well as the Discovery versions too. Uh, Andy Probert and Richard Taylor took a redesign of the Enterprise, again going into the movie side of things. I remember that from the Art of Star Trek and again you have the Enterprise A, B, all the way up. There's plenty more letters in the alphabet, isn't there? John Eaves, again fine work on the Enterprise B. Again, one of my favourite Enterprises out there as well. I just love the Excelsior class. Andy Probert's fine work on the Enterprise D. Saucer separation. The curvy Rolls Royce off the fleet. Some nice uh, content in this magazine, actually. Again, here you have the studio model. And again, you have a uh, design of the Enterprise C. Again, combining the elements of the B and the D together. Love that design. And again, you have the Enterprise C. Enterprise C is actually one of my least favorite Enterprise designs, but you know, it, it is growing on me as time goes on. And then I think one of my favorite ships, period, the Sovereign class, Enterprise E. Um, fabulous ship. I love this design. Fantastic design work over here as well. And then with the ability of having the model and having the CGI version of it as well. I went through various changes even in its I say short life, but again, it's a movie star, never really seen on TV. And then you have the NX coming in, the JJ Universe reboot. So you have uh, Ryan Church's fantastic concept art as well. Not uh, some elements that we saw appear in the movie, but uh, I love the proportions and the coloring on this. And then you have, again, early versions of uh, how the NX may have appeared, but again, um, Doug Drexler did a great job on the NX and again the idea about the refit and then we have Sean Hargreaves version of the Enterprise and then the Enterprise A refit that we saw being constructed in the Beyond series and then we have Eves, uh, John Eves and Scott Schneider's uh, version of uh, the Enterprise as well I love this version where you have the straight pylons actually we actually saw it on screen with the more swept back pylons um that we would be familiar with with uh the motion picture kind of onwards as well but this really kind of exudes the classic vibes but um just brings it into the aesthetic of star trek discovery as well but i think that's that that ship has proven to be a massive fan favorite i think from what i've seen out there as well and i cherish the model that we have in the collection we actually had that in two versions not this particular one because it has the flat uh, pylons the more swept back but we had the xl version and uh, we have the uh, regular version of it as well and i think that actually sums it up nice bit of content in here to be honest with you so that's awesome uh let's wrap up the video shall we so that concludes our video showcasing the gold USS Enterprise NCC-1701 on Star Trek Day 2020. Um, Hero Collector hit a home run here. Absolutely phenomenal ship. Uh, before we go, we're gonna bring out the regular version of this and then we'll have a little bit of a final thought. So there we have the two girls, regular version side by side with the gold plated Enterprise. Um, same scale, same level of detail, um, but again, two stark differences when it comes to uh, the kind of impact of them. Um, again, iconic, and I think what better ship to have uh, reviewed on Star Trek Day. So uh, I'm very curious to know what you folks, uh, what's, what does Star Trek mean to you um, at home? Uh, let me know, and uh, let, let's share in some of the fond memories going back to 1966. Star Trek to me um, has always meant kind of a, it's always meant adventure and exploration, you know, going, uh, it's not cheesy to be honest with you and I, I do mean it, you know, going boldly where no one has gone before and uh, that sense of, uh, you know, curiosity and, uh, you know, just general adventure 
has always appealed to me and the fact that uh, they travel amongst the stars in fantastic vessels uh, is just a physical representation of I think our own wandering minds when it comes to uh, you know what could be out there and uh, humanity's next adventure be it um, a, a kind of uh, an internal adventure or again amongst the stars and uh, to better understand who we are why we are why we are and what's next and again the biggest thing for me when it comes to Star Trek is the community that surrounds us be it the collector community cosplay community the creative fan art uh, community um, people who enjoy the episodes and dissect every inch of it the lore masters out there and uh, people who just sit back and just love a good entertaining show there's such a level of diversity in the fandom um, that's I think its biggest strength and why it's endured for over 50 years um, and I love having conversations and seeing people just enjoy it and uh, yeah I think we can all get into a few scrapes online about you know he said she said kind of shenanigans but at the end of the day the one thing that does unite us is our passion for the brand and I wish it many many years of success and uh, I do mean it from uh, the bottom of my heart um, being able to share in this franchise that you folks have again has just made it even more special and it's made this collection for me just uh, a complete and unexpected uh, delight and uh, that's just down to you amazing people um, that stop by and check out the video it's down to the amazing people over at here collector and Star Trek models over on you know Twitter and Facebook and online and all all of the community at large you know be it in front of the camera behind the camera um, here's to 50 plus more years and with the way things are going pff, I think that's a that's a that's a good safe bet um, if you're new to the channel and you like the video uh, why not uh, throw me a like and maybe share it with someone on Star Trek day that uh, may get a giggle out of a golden enterprise and for those that are regular viewers uh, I salute you and uh, you folks rock and uh, don't forget always hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell for up-to-date videos and all the doobly do details are down below about the playlists and all the different fan communities are out there as well so um, I've been your local Irish Trekkie stay safe stay happy live long and prosper and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy and goodbye.